Kathia, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to get straight into our card today and I'm starting off with some watercolour paper. This happens to be the Tim Holtz uh, watercolour paper but any will do. And I have done my little uh, non-stick mat down there, the white one. And I have Salty Ocean, Broken China and Tumbled Glass Distress Oxide re -inkers. Now I am going to be creating a background for my piece today and so I'm just putting down a little bit of each re -inker. You could definitely use ink pads to do this as well. There's no uh, rhyme or reason. I just find uh, seeing as I have the re -inkers, it's nice and easy. Then I am spraying down a little bit of water and I start off with this piece here and when I get my second pull up I kind of, I feel like I've covered a little too much of it and the blues are a little too similar so I wipe away just some of the ink leaving some and I use the darkest and the lightest re again to add a tiny bit more ink then spray it with water again and then this is going to be take two. Now one thing I do like doing to add a little bit of texture and interest is taking some plain tissues and just dabbing them down gently once they've been kind of scrunched up and that way you get that really nice texture there and I want to keep that but I do want a little bit more blue down the bottom so I'm just going to kind of dip a little bits in and then use that same tissue to dab a little bit away and that way I end up kind of really precisely getting the bits that I want covered and um, having that great texture there in the middle. So I'm not worried about the first one at all because I will always use up all my scraps and things. I have a large pile on my desk and I am constantly reaching for it. So um, it's just part of the creating process. Then I have this die here. This is the die from Alina Crafts and this is what I'm going to be using today. I saw this die set and was like, yep, I know what I'm going to do there. So I am just pulling some of these bits apart. I can pretty much just bend them apart with my fingers. Um, if there's any little bits, uh, sharp bits that you need to snip off, just use a pair of wire snips. And that umbrella there has like the outline and then it has the inside uh, pieces. I'm leaving it together for the minute and cutting it in some grey cardstock. Now I'm going to cut out one of those. I'm going to do quite a bit of die cutting to begin with, so bear with me. I did keep all of this kind of video part in. I wasn't sure whether to just show you all of the die cutting already done or to kind of walk you through the process but anyhow we're going with it and carrying on I've separated the two parts of the top umbrella and you can see I cut out the outline in a grey and then I cut out that bottom sort of frilly part in a plain white cardstock so I actually cut out two of them <laughs> because I often cut out a spare of things and then I have some grey and some white cardstock and I'm putting a little bit of sticker adhesive which is just a double sided adhesive and this will make my life a little bit easier uh, in a minute as well. Don't mind the shape of the grey piece here. I'm just using up all my scraps uh, of all sorts so um, that the shape of it means nothing. I'm just cutting out a grey um, umbrella again and this one now has sticker adhesive on the back ready to go. So I'm going to do the same thing in white and die cut it as well. And But this one has the sticker adhesive on the front. So not the back like the grey one. So I cut it with the sticker adhesive facing up and that will become clear Y in just a second. Then I'm going to cut out the outline in some acetate, just plain scrap acetate and that gives me the outline shape perfectly. So the other thing that I want to die cut is the parts of the umbrella. So I have five different glitter cardstocks in a rainbow order here. And this is why it's really good for me to keep all my wee scraps and things. So I just have these tiny wee pieces that I run through specifically on the die. And you can see in the top right up there that my little umbrella is getting filled up with all of my glitter cardstock pieces. So in a second I'm just going to run through all the bits that I have. So the top left is the frilly bit for the bottom of the umbrella. The bottom left is the acetate. The top middle is the grey piece that has the stick adhesive on the back. The bottom middle is the one that is just the back outline and then the big pile of white ones I am going to stack these up one on top of the other just using some liquid glue and the liquid glue in this is the Ranger Multimedium uh, in the matte finish and I purchased the glue bottles from AliExpress all the links will be down below 
um, and I'm just going to layer these up to create a space to make my umbrella a shaker umbrella. Now you could definitely just use white foam here, but I decided for a little bit more stability to go with using cardstock and I have a whole lot of white cardstock scraps that are getting out of control. So this was a good option for me, but either either will work perfectly fine. And once I have enough thickness built up, I am going to adhere it down onto that background gray piece. Now, in the end, I guess this doesn't really have to be gray. It could have been white or anything because it does end up getting completely covered up. So you could just cut this out of a scrap piece. Then I'm just using some liquid glue in between the gaps to make sure that there is enough glue on there that I'm going to glue down my glitter pieces. Now I took my sharp pokey tool and kind of poked gently around the edges to make sure that they were well settled into their little gaps. And then for the next part, there are several different, I mean, you could use glitter or you could use micro beads. I am going to use these little uh, gems from Alina Crafts. And they aren't exactly perfect matches to the colors, but they are pretty close and I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna put out these five little piles here but just before I put them into my umbrella, I am going to adhere down the last layer of the white cardstock. And this is going to be the one that has the stick it adhesive on the front of it. So that's why I'm gluing it down to the back. There's no adhesive on the back. Um, although you could have put stick it adhesive on both sides, but um, at the moment it has the stick it adhesive facing up on my little umbrella. Now these little gems have a flat back to them. And I am being really specific when I put them in here because I want the flat back to be facing down and the pretty side to be facing up. These gems will move around, but they won't be able to kind of turn upside down and things. So I want to be careful and take the time to place them face up to begin with. And that way they will always be showing their pretty side and not the underside. So I am going to remove that top layer of sticker adhesive and put the acetate straight down over top and that makes it nice and easy and worth putting the sticker adhesive down in the first place. And then because I wanted to have a grey umbrella, I'm going to use that one that we die cut that had the sticker adhesive on the back and place that over top of the acetate. So now I have my little umbrella coming together. I'm going to add the little white frilly part on the bottom and I really think this makes the umbrella pop. It's worth putting on um, and definitely makes it kind of come to life and just one of those finishing touches that's worth it. So that's the top of my little umbrella ready. Now I'm going to work on my little gumboots and I'm going to die cut this out twice just out of some Nina Solar White. I think this was 80 pound paper and I'm going to put it on a little sheet here. I'm going to start coloring with my tri-blend. This is the Spectrum Noir dark red blend so these are just three essentially three alcohol markers in one pen which just really saves you from having to think about which colors are going to blend together nicely and you get a light a medium and a dark in each pen i put down a little bit of removable adhesive just on my piece of paper so that they would hold the little boots still for me and i went over completely in my lightest color then this is my darkest color next and I'm adding some shading. Here's the medium color and on the right hand boot I'm trying to add the shading just slightly more to the center so like a little bit more shading than the left hand boot because the right hand boot is going to be sitting behind it so it would naturally have a little bit more shading. So I like how they came out. I'm just going to add the sole to them using a nice dark black marker and that kind of makes them come to life a little bit more as well. So I was really happy with how my little boots turned out. I like how they look and I'm going to add a little bit more to them later on um, to help them come to life as well. But for the minute I'm moving on to the next thing and this is my Dymo uh, label printer. Now I couldn't find a sentiment that I wanted so I ended up making my own. So I'm going to print out the words dance in the rain and I'm going to adhere these down to a piece of white cardstock. They are self-adhesive, they already have adhesive on the back, but just so that I can kind of uh, make them how I want to for my project, I'm going to stick them down onto here and I will cut them into strips using my trimmer and that way they'll be ready to go on my card in a minute. I know lots of people also uh, print out sentiments on their computer and things. That's a really good way to do it if you can't find the right one. 
I had my label maker out because I was labeling my new a couple of new oxides that I got in so it was right on my desk and it seemed ready to go so I'm just going to leave those in the strips for now until I can figure out where they're going to go on my card and now it's just really a matter of assembling everything so during that time my background has dried completely and I love that texture there I got in the middle using the tissue and I'm just going to trim it down so that it is about five and a quarter by four inches and that way it'll have a nice little border around it when I put it onto the card base and let's start assembling so I've got all my pieces ready to go I did cut out some white clouds and then some little raindrops out of a die that I have and I am just figuring out where I kind of want everything to go so before I adhere down the actual umbrella top I'm just going to adhere down the handle and make sure it's in the right place and for me this is the pretty fun part because kind of everything starts to come together and hopefully like you planned it did this die set is one of the sets from Alina's new release so I will make sure that I have as many links as I can uh, down in the description box below if you're interested so I do have a rough idea of where I want everything to go and I want these little boots to be down in the left hand corner and one is going to be sitting slightly in front of the other and that's why I wanted there to be more shading on the other on the right hand one that I colored in I'm going to add a little bit of foam tape this is Alina's foam tape and add that boot right in front so it gives the card a little bit of dimension now I have these strips uh, that were from my label maker and I'm just going to cut that one off kind of nice and short with a little um, angle at the end and then I'm going to cut the same angle on the next one and place it right down underneath I'm not going to cut this one off just yet because I am not sure how long I want it so I'm going to do it the opposite way and stick it down before I cut it off then it's just going to add a few little clouds now these are the finer details and I always think it's these little things that kind of finish off the card nicely and as I've said previously I feel like it's the little finishing touches that kind of complete the card I feel like it creates kind of a more complete picture um, when you're looking at it but to each his own and everybody's different so I'm going to add on these little clouds and then I'm just going to put a couple of little dots of glue either side underneath the clouds now obviously I'm not going to put the raindrops underneath the umbrella because in theory the umbrella would be uh, holding off the raindrops <laughs> but I did cut these out in some it's kind of like a bluey gray silver cardstock and I think it was one of Alina's ones as well so I'm just using my quick stick tool from I think it's from we are memory keepers to help me get those into place then I'm going to use some liquid glue and adhere this down onto a 110 pound Nina solar white card base and then from here again you could definitely leave it here but I've got a couple more finishing touches to do and one of the cute ones is to add some of these white Nuvo drops to my gumboots and this is probably one of my favorite things about this card I kind of can't decide if I like the umbrella best or the little boots but I think maybe the little boots are my favorite so let me know in the comment section down below which is your favorite part of this card because I always love to know what kind of catches people's eyes and what catches people's interest uh, I would really appreciate that thank you then I'm going to add a little bit of a glitter pen to the clouds and that finishes it off I really really like this card this is one of my favorites that I've done in a little while so I hope you guys love it as much and I really appreciate you guys stopping by to watch and I look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you so much and I'll see you later bye